Alrighty, now we're going to take a look at the graph of an absolute value function. And this question tells us that it has been horizontally stretched. And it's going to be given by the following graph. Now, we can um, categorize, we can group stretch with uh, shrink and flip because it has to do with the B value. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this function. So here is our transformed function. And it's been uh, horizontally stretched from its parent function. So the question that's asking is, what exactly is the horizontal stretch of h of x? In other words, how was this stretched from its parent graph? So what we're going to do is, uh, like we've done in the previous examples, we're going to graph the parent function on top of the transformed function. Now graphing absolute value of x is quite easy. For all the x values, just make them uh, positive over here for the negative and for the positive, keep them positive so it makes this v-shape. If you notice, a lot of these steps are very, very similar, so make sure to watch all the videos in this series. Step two, locate an identifiable point on the parent function. This one won't really matter. Um, I chose 4, 4. Actually, you can't choose 0, 0, can you? Because it remains the same. So, yeah, so you have, to, you have to go with something else, something that touches the grid. So for my parent function, I'm going to choose 4, 4. Now, since this is dealing with horizontal, our next point has to have the same y value, right? Because with the horizontal stretch, um, the x values change, keeping the same y values. So uh, step three is to locate the nearest point on the transform graph with the same y value. So here we are on our parent function. We can't hop all the way over here, right, because that's too far away. The nearest point with the same y value for our uh, transformed function would be right here at 8, 4. So that's going to be our point for step 3. Step 4 is to divide, divide x1 by x2. This gives you the horizontal stretch, slash shrink, slash flip. Um, so... Um, take your initial x value, divide by your new x value, and this is important, right? When it, whenever we're talking about horizontal stretch, shrink, and flip, you always do x1 over x2, all right? Um, so take x1, your x1 value, which is 4, okay, and then take your x2 value, which is 8, and you divide them, and you get 1 half. So what does that mean? Um, that means your b value is 2, uh, sorry, 1 half. Now there is another way to say it. it's kind of confusing. We know that our b value is 2, but ultimately the x value is double for any given y value. So you could say that the horizontal stretch, the, the parent graph has been stretched, horizontally stretched, by a factor of 2 to reach the transformed, I'm running out of room here. So I'll just keep it like that. So so when you take x1 and divide by x2, it gives you your b value in your in your function. But when you go to actually talk about the uh, the stretch itself, it's going to be the inverse of that. So to go from the x1 to x2, it's been stretched by a factor of two. If you just wanted to figure this part out, then you would do the reverse. You'd do x2 divided by x1. But to figure out your b value, you have to do x1 over x2. So it's just the reverse. That's it. This is uh, The red graph has been stretched by a factor of 2 from the parent, given that the b value is equal to 1 half. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about it, let me know.